In this lesson, we're going to look at enhancing our video. In other words, making it better by improving the color and contrast. And we're also going to look at adding some effects. Absolutely. So let's take a look. Sometimes video clips you add to your project aren't quite perfect. Well, iMovie has some great tools for fixing them up and for changing their appearance. In the toolbar, locate the Enhance button. This single button analyzes the selected video clip and attempts to fix both any video issues it finds and any audio issues it finds. Let's see how it works. Let's take a look at this underwater shot here. It has a color cast due to the surrounding water. With the playhead over it, click the Enhance button. Immediately, the color cast is removed and the shot looks much better. The audio waveform also got larger. Let's click Enhance a few times to toggle it off and on and see that happen. But what did the Enhance button actually do? Click the Adjust button to open the Adjustments bar. Several of the buttons are highlighted. These are the settings that were automatically adjusted for both the video and the audio. By moving the pointer over the highlighted icons, we can see that one-click Enhance adjusted the color balance, color correction, and volume settings. What's great about having access to these settings is that you can adjust the initial result. For example, for this clip, we really don't need the audio to be louder since it contains background underwater sounds. So let's click the volume button and then click the lower hooked arrow to reset the volume adjustment. Notice how the volume button is no longer highlighted. You can even one click enhance multiple clips at the same time. Select one clip, then command click the others. Then click enhance. Very cool. You can also adjust clips manually. Let's look at the shot of our diver talking. Then click the color balance button. The idea here is that you choose one of these methods underneath to balance the shot. Let's try the auto button to see how that looks. Okay, let's click it again to turn it back off. Or you can white balance the shot. Click white balance, then click the white part of Zion's shirt. This is a great way to quickly remove a color cast. Let's press the X to cancel that. Instead of color correcting for the white part of a shot, we can correct for the skin tones. Click Skin Tone Balance, then click on Zion's skin. Try clicking in different places for different results. OK, let's cancel that one as well. You can even match one clip to another. Click Match Color, then in the timeline, locate the sunset shot of the beach near the end of the project and click it. Now the shot of Zion looks like it was shot close to sunset. Let's cancel that as well and move to the beginning of the timeline to this morning beach and palm tree shot and move to the color correction button in the adjustment bar. Here, we can manually adjust the brightness levels, saturation, and hue of our clip. If we move the pointer over each of the controls, a tooltip tells us what they will do. Let's increase the contrast and lighten the shot up a bit. And let's increase the saturation. Notice, by the way, how you can make the clip black and white by decreasing saturation all the way. And finally, let's warm it up a little. Let's play that back. Notice how the shot's a little shaky. Let's click the Stabilization button and then click the Stabilize Shaky Video checkbox. iMovie analyzes the clip and estimates how much stabilization to apply, which you can then adjust with this slider. Let's play that back. Much better. In addition to correcting clips, you can apply interesting effects to them. Let's move to this clip of the underwater carousel horse. Click the Video and Audio Effects button, then click the bar next to Video Effect. This palette includes 16 different video effects. 
Moving the pointer over each one provides an animated preview of the effect on the clip. Let's check out a few. Let's apply hard light by clicking it. You can see how iMovie's powerful tools make it easy to fix, enhance, and add effects to your shots. In the next lesson, we'll see how you can do the same for your audio.